You know, when I first picked up Think and Grow Rich, that was a long time ago. It was 55 years ago. And as I started to read it, I really started to think, probably for the first time in my life, if you ask the average person on the street, they would say that everybody thinks, but the truth is very few people think. Mental activity does not constitute thinking. And what this book really got me doing, it got me searching for meaning to life. Why are we alive? Why, what are we going to do? What are we doing with our life? And I started to realize, I was 26, and there was no meaning to my life. I woke up in the morning and I did whatever I did and I laid down at night and I went to bed. And I was doing this day after day after day for 26 years. But as I started to read this book and I started to study the lives of uh, people that had really done something with their life. And then everything that I studied indicated that what these people, the real giants of history, they were no different than you and me. And the more I studied, I think the more I began to search for meaning for me, for my life. I honestly believe if you have no meaning for life, if you're not on a journey into meaning, your life is very shallow. And you live like the minnows. You gotta get out into the deep. You've gotta really put some serious meaning into life. Now, I began doing that 55 years ago, um, not like I am today. I think it's been a gradual process. I'm becoming uh, probably more and more aligned with the idea of, of searching for meaning to everything I do every day. I don't want to do anything just to do it. I want it to have some meaning to it. And I honestly believe if I can help other people do the same thing, then I'm accomplishing what I'm setting out to accomplish. Because I come to the conclusion that the way I lived for the first 26 years of my life is the way the vast majority of people spend their entire life. And over the years, I have become more focused and I think the only thing that we lack is focus and uh, imagination. I read where an author said, it's weakness of focus and poverty of imagination. Our lives can be a rich, rich, meaningful adventure. Life should never be a bore. Every day should have a, a dimension of excitement to it. Excitement's probably the wrong word. Meaning would be the better word. I think every day should have a dimension of meaning to it. So that when we lay down at night, we realize that we're God's highest form of creation. We've got mental faculties that, that um, just blow your mind as you begin to study it. And so I think, I don't believe we're given all this awesome power, this awesome potential, just to get by. I really, truly believe that we should really be searching for meaning every day. And we want to have something going on where every day becomes an adventure. And, and we bring more of ourselves to the surface. And I think if we do that, when we lay down at night, we'll be a, a lot more content and we'll like ourselves a little bit better. You see, I really believe the more of ourselves we develop, the more we bring to the party, the better we're gonna like ourselves. I've got to the point now where I really do like myself and uh, I'm not swayed by other people's opinions and 
if somebody else doesn't like me, that's their problem. I think I'm a nice guy, and if they don't, that's probably something in themselves they don't like. And I think it's important that we like ourselves. I think it's important that we understand the depth there is to our potential. There's nothing on the planet that will equal us. You know, I mentioned time and time again, you may have heard me say it before, but all the other little creatures on the planet are completely at home in their environment. They blend in. You and I are totally disoriented in our environment because we've got the capacity to create our own environment. And I think we want to do a good job of it. I think we want to make every day count because we don't know how long we're going to be here. And I think we want to make certain that the trip we're on has a real deep meaning to it. Check us out at ProctorGallagherInstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.